Yo, yo, what it do? Peace to the family. Um, it's bright as early Sunday morning. I hope y'all in church praising white Jesus. Yeah. But anyways, um, I'm joking. But um, I told you guys I was going to record a video uh, to show you guys what's in my fridge, uh, in my freezer, to kind of give you a glimpse of what we eat, what's in our diet, uh, things of that nature. Wow! Let's run it. Okay, here we go. We in the freezer right now. So first on the menu, we have some frozen strawberries. And basically what these what we do with these frozen strawberries, these are frozen um, blueberries. So basically what we do with these, uh, we make shakes. You know, we can add like protein powder or uh, stuff like that, usually after dinner or something or or when it's hot, you know, we don't even eat. We'll just uh, make a shake. So what else we got going popping? Boom. We have these 100% plant-based protein burritos. Now these uh, burritos, what do these burritos taste like, uh, babe? Um, they taste different, but they're, they're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. They kind of taste, have this like pepperoni kind of taste. 100% plant based. Boom. Let's see the nutritional facts. By the way, that's my wifey over there, co piloting. Say what's up to the people, baby. El hola. Hola. Okay, and, and also uh, on to the next one. These are Philly sandwiches. Uh, burritos. These are pretty good. Um, also, the same brand. Which, what brand is this? No, 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 no. These burritos are different. With the A, Alpha. There you go, Alpha Foods. Shout out to Alpha Foods. Um, they're pretty spendy, but they're pretty fire. We got over here dying. Um, these bananas have been in here for uh, a gang of weeks. And we move on to over here. Uh, runner up is uh, Gardenia, and they make these crispy chickens. Now these, and it comes with a sauce pack, takes about eight minutes. These are pretty fire. Um, so basically, as far as um, as far as our meat, as far as our meat uh, substitute, we use a lot of meat substitutes. We, we have we're we're in the beginning stages of making the actual meat patties. You know what I mean. So we've tried seitan and. Seitan, you know, we fried it. Seitan basically tastes like a hot fried sponge. <laughs> so, but yeah, but we working on cooking something up, you know, that is basically going to to be that replacement. But until then, we are using these um, meat replacement products. But to save money, eventually we're going to go, you know, graduate over there to uh, making it ourselves. Right, baby? Okay, so what we got right here, my favorite, these original sausage patties from Morningstar Farms. Now, if you're vegan, you know Morningstar Farms is basically like the value addition, uh, you know, for the vegan uh, people, you dig? So these are really good. These are original sausage patties, nine grams of fat, um, really easy to make. Um... So we got these, and we have these crumbles. Now these crumbles are really did good to put in uh, egg rolls. I would say uh, egg roll spaghetti. You dig what I'm saying? A burrito. You know? Oh, I'm getting hungry. It's kind of early, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's move on. Boom. We got these. Got another pack of that. Those sausages, this will go good with some brown rice or some, um, you know, just some greens or something. Straight like that, Jack. Burrito. What else we got over here? Another sausage patty is also my favorite. Shout out to Morningstar for um, making this possible. Because I guarantee you about 10 years ago, this shit would not be possible. Um we have over here these are also some veggie grillers these veggie grillers taste 
damn near like a regular patty. Like it's crazy. But you don't get that um that knuckle, that fatty feeling, you know? So these are pretty bomb. And usually what we do, what else? These are these are okay. Now, if anybody knows, uh, these are made with uh, quinoa. Quinoa, I, I personally, I don't like it. It's um, it doesn't have that uh, it doesn't have that consistency of like a burger patty or something. Now, these are fire. These are really spicy, and also like these also taste like. Um, the real thing. I mean, just like a regular chicken bed. The only thing is, the only thing is, these are, as far as me, personally, uh, these, they're made, they're, they cost more, but they're really made with better ingredients. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> I think all that other, like, those burger patties, those actual, those burger patties with the block that you buy in Walmart, that shit, it's made with, uh, you know what I mean? I think shit that they, you know, off the cow's ass or something, you know what I mean? Off the, you know what I mean? By the cow's polos, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, let me see. But yeah, moving right along. What else we got over here? Also these. The spicy black bean. Let it refocus. Spicy black bean. And these are really bomb. So, these quinoa ones. And um, so, yeah, like, so this is basically all our meat substitute. These bomb egg, uh, these bomb burritos. And then these for our fruit smoothies. Um, yeah, so what else? Eventually, we will be, we're, we're going to start making... Um, you know, our meat patties or chicken patties or, or whatever it is. But for now, it's really a lot more convenient. Uh, we actually have the, uh, food processor. <clears throat> but, you know, you gotta get up and, you know, do the whole shit. You know what I mean? It's kind of, it, it takes a lot of time. You know, my wife, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, yo, you know, put that thing, you know, put your back into it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so as far as so as far as that's basically what's in my freezer. Basically, just yeah, just anything you know, our, our meat, whatever the hell. Um, my next episode, I'm gonna run through our, our fridge and show you what we eat, our condiments we use. Um, you know, the greens, veggies, fruits. So, um, like I said, like, subscribe, uh, and uh, comment. Peace, love, I'm out.